Kirani James takes bronze at IAAF World Championships in Beijing. Prime Minister says Grenada is proud of his accomplishments. It's just an excellent race for the 400 meters and of course we, we we're very proud of, of, of Kirani. This story and more in the National Report. With a national report, I am Janelle Hamlet. Grenada's Kirani James produced what has been referred to as the season's best bronze, clocking 43.78 seconds in a men's 400 meters at the IAAF World Championships in Beijing. South Africa's Wade Van Nierkirk produced a sensational run of 43.48 seconds to snatch the 400 meter world gold and upset a star studded field. Van Nierkirk went out hard and hung on in a desperate last few meters to hold off former world champion LaShawn Merritt, who cupped the silver medal in 43.65 seconds, a new personal best. It was the first time in history three men in the same race have gone under 44 seconds with Van Nierkirk's time, putting him on the world all-time list behind only Michael Johnson, Butch Reynolds, and Jeremy Warner. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell took time from his hectic schedule to watch Kirani's performance among his star-studded lineup. Following the race, he told the Government Information Service that all Grenada remains proud of the young athlete who held its own in what was an excellent race. This was an exceedingly fast race from all indication for three men to be under 44. Um, and, and this is probably one of his best time. So clearly, uh, this, this is something that um, we all should be very proud of. And the, the performance there today clearly demonstrates that um, Kirani continues to, to hold his head high in, in these competitions. So we're very proud. He, he didn't win. We're disappointed, clearly. But, but I mean, he can't win every race. And that is expected in, in stiff competition. And, and, uh, but we, we, on behalf of the nation, I certainly want to express again or, or continued support and, and, and the fact that we're very proud of, of, our, of our Kerani James and his performance regionally, internationally, otherwise. James will be defending his Olympic title in August 2016 in Rio, Brazil. <music> Minister for Youth, Sports and Religious Affairs, Honorable Emlyn Peer, has also congratulated Kerani on his resounding performance at the IAAF World Championships. More details in this report. In a brief statement, Sports Minister Emlyn Peer said, and I quote, Kirani has once again done his best while representing the people of his beloved Grenada, Karakou, and Piti Martinique. While on this occasion he was not able to take the top position, he is always number one in the hearts of each and every Grenadian. Unquote. Minister Peer added that young people in Grenada are honored to have Kirani as a role model of what a person with determination, focus, and humility can achieve. She also congratulated his parents and family as well as his coach and support team, confident that they will continue to work with him for his continued development. Minister Peer added, the government of Grenada and indeed the Ministry of Sport will continue to be of service in any way possible to assist Kirani as we all look forward to the 2016 Olympic Games. For the National Report, I am Chrislina Klein. This is the National Report. We'll be right back after the break. MCP Brokerage and Consultancy Services presents Newham Life and General Insurance Real Money Experience. Students of Tam CC and Secondary School Form 5 will get hands-on experience with making the financial decision they'll face when they become adults. It's all happening on Saturday, 29th August at the Grenada Trade Center from 10 a.m. For registration, call 405-7957 or visit the website mcpconsultancies.com. Grenadians woke up anticipating victory in the men's 400-meter final in China on Wednesday. At about 9.25 a.m. in Kirani's hometown Guav, people in every shop, business space and home were watching, and family, friends and supporters were dressed in their national colors and waving the Grenada flag as a sign of support in the streets. Although he did not win gold, Kirani remains a champion in the hearts of the people in his hometown and Grenada as a whole. Oh man, the man is a champion, my brother. 
the man is a champion to the world, and we're proud of the man still. Whether he come to the watch, you know, we're there with the man and represent for the man. Like Guav here, we standing up with the brother still, you understand, and we love the man. So in life, you find them things, sometimes you up and sometimes you down. But no matter what, we're there with Kiani and we love him to the world still, my brethren. Believe it. We got to everything, I still celebrating. We got happy still. We got brands, and we still show up. Yeah, we, yeah, we still standing strong. Don't worry, we'll come back on this still. The main fact that he went out there and represent, to me, he did his best, and we not lose, we still supported him. Okay? Just the fact that the whole world got to see our flag flying is good enough for me. I would have rather, I would have rather he win, but he came turn. Why front? I'm still celebrating, I'm still glad. Just the fact that he's represented Grenada. Regardless that Kiriani didn't become the champion today, persons in Guav community are still praising him and supporting him, reaching the finals and bringing home bronze. Kiriani James still has his support within his community and Grenada as a large. For a National Report, I am Rena Pierre. And this has been the National Report. I am Janelle Hamlet. Thank you for joining us. Hi, I am Junior Murray. Let's keep our athletes and sports clean. No dope in sports. Kirani James had to settle behind uh, Wade Van Niekoek and LeSean Merritt in the men's 400 meters at the World Athletic Championships today in Beijing. Usain Bolt and Justin Gatting to meet again, this time over the 200 meters uh, after making it into the final. And Dominica win the 2015 Win Islands Rear Tournament in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Hello, I'm Trevor Thwaites. Olympic and Commonwealth champion Kirani James had to settle for the bronze medal at the final of the 400 meters at the World Athletic Championships earlier today in Beijing, China. He finished third behind winner South African Wade Van Niekoek and second place American LaShawn Merritt. A clean start. Who will set the pace here. Merritt started very, very quickly in lane 8. He's already up on Masra. He's gone storming through the first 100 metres. Van Nika trying to go with him, has gone past Santos, who's just left, but he will finish quickly. So Karani, James and Makwala putting a gap between themselves and Rama Youssef, but Merritt setting the pace. Has he gone too hard here? Van Nika trying to chase him down. Karani, James moving around that top bend, and here comes Makwala. Santos not out of it either, and Merritt Already looking a little bit spent here as Van Niekerk moves ahead. And Merritt's going to have to be strong. And here comes Karani James. The two of them chasing down Van Niekerk. The South African in the front. It's going to be goal for South Africa. 43-47. Van Nieker clocked uh, sensational 43.48 uh, seconds. Merritt and uh, impressive 43.65 seconds. And James also an impressive uh, 43.78 seconds. It was the first time in the history that the three men in the same 400 meters have gone under 44 seconds, with Van Niekerk's time putting him 
on the world all-time list behind Michael Johnson, Burt Reynolds, uh, Burt Reynolds, and Jeremy Wariner. Van Niekhoek, who went out hard and had to hang on desperately in the final meters, the whole of Meriton James was taken away on a stretcher following his exertions. He gave it his all. World Senior Sports Official leader Bruno Victor described the race as spectacular. She backed her countryman all the way. I think that if you, when you follow sports and you follow how people run in, that you would have expected it to be close. You would, have, you would have expected it to have fast times because it's a fast track. And one would, as Grenadians, we really wanted Karan to win, but he did his best. My only thing is that he should not let Merit, Merit beat him on the line there. But it, that happens too. So I think uh, that the South African really competed well. And the fact that he has to go out on a stretcher tells the world that he gave his best to beat the best that followed him. Bruna Victor says that Kirani could have started off a bit quicker and stayed closer to Van Niekerk. I, I believe that he knew how strong um, um, the South African was, and he was gauging him. I believe probably he, he, in my mind, he was running his own race, but he still had the South African in mind, which is really what you had to do. He started a little, um, a little slow because we always look at him starting fast, building up and finishing off very fast too. That didn't really take place in the race, but you have to really run with who you have. You have to run sometimes just based on who is in the race. That's how you know what you're going to do. And I'm sure that his coach would have worked with him and tell him what he had to do. The time he ran was a spectacular time, the best for the year. So he too gave off his best. Another sporting enthusiast who closely followed the men's 400 meters at the Rural Athletic Championships in Beijing was John Sinui. Like most of the compatriots, he was disappointed that Kirani did not prevail. He says that he thought the Grenadian was a bit tense before the start and should have come off the bend quicker to keep pace with Van Niekhoek. And the race was a very good race. Um, there were the big guns there. I guess everyone was tense. I uh, you know um, Kirani, he looked, when I watched him, just my personal view, I find he was a little dumb, slightly dumb, not the firing Kirani as I know, you know. But I guess everybody was under pressure. Um, my only little take is that I think he, he came off the block a little too slow, you know. He needed a little bit more peps. I, I know he has that final finish. finish, but I think, you know, Knowing the fact that all of the other guys were looking and knowing, well, he seems to be the style they were, I guess, with, the, with this technological age, we're looking at, you know, how he, how he runs, every step that he makes, and uh, probably they, they use that initiative. So I think the, 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 the little point was that he, he should have come out a little bit more fiery at the blocks and maintain this and then for his final feedback. Senator, we are confident that Kirani will rebound uh, at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. De Janeiro. Today's lesson, he will take that on, and you know, in Kiran, he's a cool chap, and he won't make that a, a, I mean, a big problem. But he's a learning, it's, it's a, it's a lesson learned, and and he will develop on that, and he'll bring us the goal in next year, uh, August, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Sporting enthusiast uh, Johnson John St. Louis. A rematch between Justin Gatling and American. Uh, <laughs> American Justin Gatling and uh, Jamaican Usain Bolt is on after the two dominated their semifinals to charge into Thursday's 200 meters final in Beijing. Bolt, in an effortless display, won his heat in 19.95 seconds. Reports indicated that the 100 meters champion appeared to be saving his strength for Thursday's showdown, easing off towards the end. Gatling, the fastest man over the 1 and 200 meters this year, also ran a controlled 19.1 or 19.87 seconds to win his heat. The American is certainly seeking revenge in the 200 meters final after being beaten by both in the 100 meters on Sunday. Another fantastic race is in the making. Gatling, twice banned for doping, has twice ran more than two tenths of a seconds 
faster than any man in the field this year and almost half a second quicker than Bolt. Bolt, who was restricted this year because of a pelvic injury, was solid rather than spectacular around the bend, but was able to open up a two meters lead in the straight, coasting the final 20 meters to save a much possible for the battle ahead on Thursday. We all look forward to that. Tell you what, rain badly affected play on the final day of the uh, final round of matches in the 2015 Winter Islands Cricket Tournament in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, board games ended in draws. Uh, St. Lucia took first innings points over Grenada in their game. Grenada scored 98 in their first innings, with Roland Cato making 32. St. Lucia replied with 192 for 9 declared. Uh, left arm spinner Dennis George had the impressive figures of 6 for 62. Grenada in the second innings reached 103 for 4 when the rain came. Devin Smith scored 34 and Emmanuel Stewart 18. In the other game, Dominica scored uh, 236 against St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Skipper Lockhart Sebastian led the way, scoring 87. St. Vincent and the Grenadines in reply were bowled for 209. Soon as Ambrose uh, hit the top score of 48. Dominica, the champions, yeah, they totaled 41 points. St. Vincent and Grenadines finished second on 33 points, Grenada third on 15, and St. Lucia at the cellar on 14. Matches were played over two days. And finally, football and Manchester United beat Club Barouge. Four goals to nil in the return fixture away from home to book their passage into the main draw of the Champions League. Skipper and captain Wayne Lurie, uh, Wayne Rooney was bang on target with a hat-trick to secure the win for the Reds. He struck in the 20th, 49th, and 57th minutes. Angel Herrera hit the other in the 63rd minute as Manchester United completed a 7-1 aggregate victory after winning the first leg in Manchester last week, three goals to one. Manchester finding some form and looking to do well this weekend in the English Premier League. That's sports. I'm Trevor Thwaites. Batteries to waterproof flashlight candles will do thin stuff, garbage bag, first aid kit. Come on, people, make sure you have it. Clean water in a container and a hurricane plan. Hear me, no man. Hurricane damage is beyond your control. Surviving the aftermath is up to you. Have a hurricane plan, it can save your life and your family too. Prepare for hurricane, your hair, prepare for hurricane. 